Hello everyone! Welcome to Math and Magic! Hello students! I'm Sir Tof and I'll be your online tutor. So for today's lesson, a request from a co-educator, how to manually solve the square root of a number. Now at the end of this video, you should be able to define what is a square root, solve manually the square root of a number, and answer real life problems related to square root. So what are you waiting for? Go grab your pen and notebook, and let's get started. Before going to the computation process, let us define it first. Square root of a number is a value that when multiplied by itself, generates the number. For example, if you multiply 3 by itself, the product will be 9. This process is called squaring or to square. Inversely, having a number, say 9, then looking for a value which when multiplied by itself will generate it, is what we call square root. Also take note in algebra topic, square root of a number may be in positive and negative form. For the components of a square root, we have the radical, the radical sign, index, and the square root value. For the computation of square root, you should at least know the squares of the digits 1 to 9 for it will be a great help later in our computation. Now let's start. For our example, find the square root of 576. So first, locate the decimal point. Then place it on top of the radical sign. Next, from the decimal point, group the digits by 2's. You may use a bar on top as a symbol of pairing. So here we have 76 and 5. Since there is no more digit before 5, that is understood to be 0. Now take note the number of pairs indicate the number of digits in our answer. Now in this case, the root of 576 is a 2-digit number. So after that, get the leftmost number, that is 5, observe the product in your list, which of these products is equal or lesser than 5. Now that is 4. Now get the square root of 4, which is 2, place it on top of 5, then we will have a difference of 1. Bring down the next pair, which is 76. We have 176 here. Now multiply the number above the radical sign by 2. Multiplying this value by 2 will have 4. Place it beside 176. This will be our divisor later. Now leave a blank for the unit's digit. Now take note, the unit's digit of the answer here should be the same as the unit's digit of the divisor. Now question, how many 40 plus are there in 176? So by estimation, we have 4. Now multiply the unit's digit of the answer by the divisor which is 44. Only this one, 4 times 4. So the square root now of 576 is 24. Now to check whether your answer is correct or not, you may multiply 24 by itself. Now if the product obtained here is the same as 576, then we can now say that this value is correct. So finding the product of 24 will have 500. 76. For our second example, find the square root of 2,798 
and 41 hundredths. First, locate the decimal point, then place it on top of the radical sign. Next, group the digits by twos from the decimal point. Now, since we have three groups here, expect that the root is a three-digit number. Now, begin at the leftmost pair, which is 27. Now, observe which of these products have a value of 27 or less. Now, in this case, it is 25. Now, get the square root of 25, which is 5. Write it above 27. Now, get the square of 5, subtract it from 27, which is 2, bring down 98, then we have 298. Next, we multiply the number above the radical sign, which is 5, by 2. This is always multiplied by 2. Leave a blank for the units digit. Now, how many 100 plus are there in 298? So, by estimation, it's 2. The units digit here should be the same as the units digit here in this divisor. So, multiply 2 by 102. So, this would give you 200. Four. Now, subtract 298 by 204. Now, the difference here is 94. Repeat the same process earlier. Bring down the next number, which is 41. Now, you have 9,441. Repeat the process. Multiply 52 by 2. That would be equal to... 104. Leave a blank for our unit's value. Now, estimate how many 1,040 plus are there in 9,441. Now, if your answer is 9, probably you are correct. 9 and 9. Now, the product obtained when multiplying 9 by 1,049 is 9,441. So, in this case, the square root of 2,798 and 41 hundredths is 52 and 9 tenths. for our daily dose of math. So here, I will teach you how to get the square of a two-digit number ending in 5 in just 3 seconds. So example, let's say we have 25 squared. You know that 25 squared is the same as 25 times 25. Now here's the trick. Multiply the unit's digit. This is 5 times 5. Place it in your answer, in the product. This is 25. Next, multiply the tens digit by itself, then add the same number. So that's the same with 2 times 2 plus 2. So here you know this is 4 plus 2, 6. Now you have that. Another example, let's say I ask you to find the square of 45. You know that the square of 45 is the same as 45 times 45. So first step, multiply the unit's digit. That's 25. Multiply 4 by itself. 
that is 16, add it again by the same number. So 16 plus 4, that will give you a value of, for the last example, try this. What is the square of 65? Now, if your answer is 4,225, then you got it right. Now, for a simple trick, I want you to think of a number from 1 to 10. Now, multiply your number by 3. The product obtained, you add 9. After finding the sum, divide it by 3. 3. After getting the quotient, subtract your initial number. Now, did you get 3? Wow! So that's it for our today's lesson. I hope you learned something. And if you want to request a topic, please write it in the comment section below. God bless everyone. Shout out to all my co-teachers there, the Holy Redeemer School of Kabuyao, administrators, 